there is a tool that every DIYer and really every homeowner should have. If you're lucky, you'll never need to use it. But if you ever need it and you don't have it, you're gonna be sorry. I love tools. I have a garage full of them. And I use them for all different types of things. Some tools I use all the time. Some tools I use maybe once in a blue moon. And some tools I have, I've never actually used before. But in this video, I'm talking about one of the most important tools that any DIYer or any homeowner could have. And it's one of those that you may never actually use. So let me just introduce it and start out by telling you guys a story. Now, when I was a kid, I was around maybe five or six years old. We had these neighbors that were really good friends of ours. One day their kitchen caught fire. I, I don't remember how it got started. I don't even remember how we noticed it because it was in the back of their house. All I remember is my dad rushing across the street and up their back deck with our fire extinguisher to help put out the fire long before the fire department was able to get there. I remember watching him stick his head in the sliding door and spray through the smoke and then come out for fresh air and go back in again and spray some more. Now they were really lucky and their house didn't burn down. Their kitchen was a total loss, but they were able to remodel and recover. So as you may have guessed, the most important tool that I'm talking about here is a fire extinguisher. So according to estimates, there are over 350,000 house fires in the US each year. These fires can have numerous causes and there's certainly things that can and should be done to prevent them, but even still, it really helps to be safe and prepared by having a fire extinguisher handy. It's also important if you are a woodworker or work ever with solvents or finishes, uh, you have maybe sawdust lying around, wood lying around, and, and flammable materials, there is a chance that some spark could ignite and there could be a fire. Cleaning fluids and paint thinners can catch fire easily, so they should be handled with great care. Sometimes, rags soaked with these materials can give off enough heat to reach their kindling temperature and begin burning all by themselves. So I recently picked up this fire extinguisher. This is actually a pretty large fire extinguisher. I'm gonna set it up here on my wall and get that installed and uh, really add kind of safety to my shop and to my home. So the way I'm gonna install this is by using these toggle bolts. And I really like them because they hold a lot of weight and they're easy to use. I'll leave a link below if you wanna check them out. I'll also leave a link to some fire extinguishers of different sizes and price points that you could check out if you like. The first step is to drill a half inch hole into the wall. From there, you insert the toggle and pull it snug. Then you break off the plastic bits. And the last step is to screw in the bolt. So there you have it. Now again, it's important to take all the preventive measures you can in your home to avoid a fire. In fact, I'll leave some resources from some national organizations that'll have some instructions on how to do that. But it can also be a literal lifesaver to have a fire extinguisher available if you ever need it. So thanks again for watching. I hope that you found this uh, video interesting and enjoyable. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and we'll see you in the next one.